Hi there YouTube and makers and welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me. Today we've got another unboxing. But first, let me tell you why we've got this here. I've had this Derek veneer high cage catalog item number 454, a 24 inch model for better part of 10 years. At the time I got it, I didn't know any better, and I thought, hey, if a small one's good, a big one's got to be great, and you can hit everything in any size you need in between. And of course, that's when I first started, and I had my old Kent Smith horizontal mill and South Bend lathe that I thought I was going to be making train parts on. I thought maybe I'll find a vintage tank or something and make parts for that. So I needed to make it, doing big makes, you need big tools, right? Well, I was wrong. And as a result of that, this thing is so large that it was practically unusable for most of my purposes and makes. And I ended up getting a uh, Sterrett. Sorry, I don't mean to turn my back on you. Um, the surface plate cage. Item number 56 after getting this because it ended up proving to be nearly unuseful. So I ended up using this most of the time. So I've been without a veneer height gauge for a while. And recently I tried to buy one. I found a Midatoyo on the auction site. I put my bid in, but I was just completely blown away. And it was a really nice one, really good condition. So, kind of upset about that. I still needed one. I didn't want to get a foot tall one because I've had this one. So, I wanted to get something that's a little bit smaller and a little bit more manageable. That would be more applicable to our three quarter inch scale Pennsylvania A3 switcher 040 steam locomotive engine, as documented in the book by Kozo Hirohuka. So, I wanted to get a six incher. And I really wasn't finding any American vintage that was in good condition. I found a couple of brown and sharps. They were pitted. They had they were rusted. They had a lot of dark staining. You could see that the surfaces were clearly well used and worn. So I hadn't found one for a while. But then I found this. And cool store of this, the shop that I found it on, I don't even think I was looking for this. I was just saw that they had something else I was interested in and just kind of scrolling through the store I found this tool came up and the story according to the company that I purchased this from is that this is new and some years ago they had purchased out a tool supply company and they found this according to their auction in description up underneath a shelf so it had been lost in this tool supply company for an unknown number of years and then when they purchased it out they found it and hopefully I can get this open without being the first without damaging it on screen because how awful would that be okay. nice well packaged Oh, that's cool. That's what I thought I saw. That comes in the original box. Sides are split, a little warped for Stare it. Case number 354. Six inch one only. The near high gauge. Look at that. Look at that old nice vintage tent. A few little repairs in the corner on the box. But then again, I'm not buying this for the box. Let's see if there's anything there. No. All packaging. And it was well packaged, so super glad I got here because I'm super excited about this tool because I've had this and I haven't been able to use it. So let's take a look. I'm not being weird, okay? That is real weird. You can just smell it. I think it's real beautiful. I like that. 
really nice hardware, brass hardware, stare it on the surface. Beautiful case. Wow. Let's take a look inside. Look, it's got looks like the original kind of rust inhibiting paper. But I've always wondered what's in it. So, comes with the scribe. Again, you're here to see this. Lord help me if I drop it. Again, this is item number 354 from Sterrett, a six inch veneer high cage. Now, it may look like maybe a little bit of rust. I don't know, that's just old grease. But that's not patina on there, that's old, old grease. Don't see any rust? I think this is old grease on the bottom, but, but it's right in here, so it's not on anything that's going to affect the performance. But it just rubs right off, so I think it's dried out grease. Dude, let's taste it. No, don't taste it. That's bad. Really bad. Beautiful, dude. That's going to clean up wonderfully. Let's see if there's anything else in this case. Let me point out the scribe. Not sure what was here. Something's missing. I bet you it was a smaller version of this. Kind of the same shape. I bet you. So this is for the 24 inch one. I bet you it was this. That was right here. It's missing. But that's fine. I can chop around. I don't need it right now. Let's see if this is anything. Or is this just more packaging? Yeah, I think this is packaging to keep it. So, very cool. I'm really excited. I'm really happy. It's a six inch veneer high cage. Stair number 354. I've been looking for a smaller, more usable one for my build for a long time. So the fact that I didn't get to win that uh, Mitutoyo, I'm perfectly fine with because this is really nice, brand new. And I'm happy. I'm really happy and excited. I can't wait to show you guys and I can't wait how to use it and I can't wait to use it on our um, Kozo Hiroko, Kozo Hiroka, Pennsylvania A3 040 three quarter inch scale switcher steam locomotive engine. You know, apply this to other builds and makes in the future as well. Thank you for joining me. And thank you for sharing this with me, moment with me. I appreciate you having here. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification button be notified whenever we post more content and please feel free to share my video thanks for joining me stay safe stay healthy and keep making chips <laughs>